How you guys doing? My name is Jay. I'm with the Top Snap Podcast, and I got into Airsoft back in October. My nephew's birthday was then, and we wanted to go down to uh, Hollywood Sports and play some Airsoft, and I got hooked. I got addicted. My first gun I bought, I bought actually for that, um, for that bout, for that day, to go play. I wouldn't buy a gun. I didn't want to rent a gun, so I went and bought this Crytac. It's the, uh, the LMG, light machine gun. Put M4 mag on it. It was my first gun ever, so it was shooting uh, 397 out of the box, 398, and uh, that was a 20.20 BBs. And uh, man, this gun is badass. When I played though, I played with the big box mag, and it's just noisy as shit. But with the M4 mags, I can only imagine it's gonna be really cool. But box of awesomeness. I want to keep it really, really uh, quick and to the point. Um, I'm opening this thing up for the very first time. So here we go. Pretty stoked on it. It is, fuck, Marcello called it, Saz Dollar. I have an airsoft buddy, I call him Saz, he's $100, that's so funny. So, I got the, uh, the APS Carbide Action Combat, which is funny because I kind of wanted this gun. And I got the M40A3 sniper rifle, Marcello called it, so, cool, I'm stoked. Uh, it's not what I wanted, but I'm, I'm grateful. It's cool. Uh, yeah, so we'll wait. This is the uh, Valentine's edition of the... Um, let's pull this baby out. Yeah, I'll just show you the box. Let's get in. All right, here. Yeah. M4A3 McMillan. So it's kind of just... Booty green. I don't have a shotgun. Uh, no, this is a rifle. This is, yeah, this is not a shotgun. So, got a very plastic feel. I got a good feel on so. But, this thing looks kind of cool. I think this actually comes with the handgun, it's not just the kit. Yes, sir, really. Comes ready to go. Now, this is worth it. This was worth it. All the way. Wow, it's super light because it's a handgun. So, kind of cool. Charging handle for the, the gun. So, this is based, I believe, on a Glock series, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe it's six hour. I believe this is a Glock. Yeah, it looks Glock. Very Glock. Glock. That's not Glock. It's not a licensed block weapon, but it's kind of cool, man. I mean, does this have an extendable stock? Let's see here. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, so I'm such a noob at this whole thing. Um, I think it's for battery removal. I think it's for the, I don't believe this extends. But I'll figure it out. But yeah, this is unboxing. This is kind of cool, man. It's got a little Picatinny rail down here on all sides. It's a pretty big top rail. The handgun close quarters. Um, we come with a mag. Let's see, hold on. Cool. Came with some um, poly sights. Cool. Mount on the top rail. Kind of cool, man. Oh, yeah. We got the fluorescent neons. Let's see what else we got in this little bag. Front rear side. So we have we have the orange and we have the green. So the orange is on the front, right here, and green is on the back. That's good. And it's my dog. Because it's holy, but it survived. So pretty decent. It took a pretty big digger right there. Sick. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, front grip. Cool, man. Little flip down grip. Goes on the front Picatinny rail. It's not bad. Again, like I said, wasn't what I was expecting, but I'm okay with it. Cool. Magwell. Cool. Came with a little tiny suppressor. What? That's dope. And a flash hider. Cool. So it came with some, a bunch of little extra shit. Guards and protectors and shit. So, there we go. That was the unboxing. See you guys later. Uh, join the Top Snap 
podcast and the Pouch Nap Airsoft podcast. Thank you for being for, here for the uh, February's unboxing, and we'll see you on the next one.